Hi, I'm Dr. Jeff Bradstreet, and today I'm joined with my wife Jennifer, and we're here in Kiev, and we're visiting here specifically to come with some of our patients, but also to continue the evaluation of our own courses of stem cells, uh, to see the doctors, and to um, support the actions of our patients in their therapies as well. So Jennifer, it's been about a year since you came to Kiev for the very first time, and it was maybe a little reluctant at first for you in terms of whether or not this was going to be an appropriate thing for your own personal health. But you've been through a lot in life. You've, um, you've raised a special needs child. Um, you've had the stress of, of doing that on your own for a while. And um, then uh, you've kind of seen some of that effect of stress on your own health and well-being and decided after some consultation that that might be a good idea for you. So. How did coming here, having stem cells for the first time almost a year ago, affect you? Stem cells have changed my life. A year ago, I came to Kiev and I suffered from depression and severe anxiety. I couldn't sleep at night. I had trouble functioning during the day because I was so tired. And within weeks, within actually days of having stem cell treatment, my anxiety left, my depression is gone, I could sleep through the night, and I had so much energy, I could get everything done, I could focus, I had more attention, I could attend to task better, and it changed me. That's really amazing, that's awesome. That's Wonderful. I'm, I'm so happy. Obviously, personally for me, you're my wife. It's a wonderful journey to see that. I've witnessed that in you. I know the doctors and the nurses, when they saw you this time and worked with you this time, they're like, oh my, that is just, you're just so different. You're, you're so happy. You're so, you have so much energy. You have so much positive um, just changes about you that they were, they were remarkably impressed. And I know I have been, and I know your friends have been. But you have more than just your own personal journey, just like I have more than my own personal journey. You do a lot of mom-to-mom -mom stuff where you talk to other mothers of kids with special needs and you've done some wonderful work just trying to help them through this whole process of accepting that need in their child to get some special therapy, something complicated and unusual for them like stem cell therapy, leaving the United States, coming to Ukraine to seek out this type of therapy. In particular, I can think of a family from um, North Carolina where you, you talk hours it seems like back and forth about this whole process and she had never traveled outside the country before and you worked with her and you got her over that and you gave her the confidence that she needed to come here and then she's seen amazing changes in her boy maybe you can tell us something about your conversations with her about what she's seen in her teenager well this mom in particular and so many of the mothers have journeyed outside of the United States for the first time and they have been blown away. First of all, they were, they were nervous, they were scared because of traveling and traveling with a special needs child is overwhelming. It's complicated. Just, just the time change and riding on an airplane for so long and not knowing um, how to speak the language here. And this mom and every mom that I've talked to, they come to Ukraine, they come to Kiev, they come to Imsel, and they are so happy. The warmth of everyone at the clinic, they feel like they feel like it, they're a family. They feel loved and they feel welcome. The medical care is wonderful. They, the way that they can, our children are so hard to deal with, and the way that they're able to calmly calm our children down, give them an IV, and get it the first time and to calm the parents down, make them feel assured that everything's going to be okay. It's, it's really a miracle. The children are, every child that I know that has come to MCEL has left different. They have improved in every single way. They, um, from, from language to, to cognition to behaviors, every parent that I've talked to are very excited and ready to come again. I've never talked to a parent that wasn't ready to come back. It's been a positive I've experience. I've noticed that too. Yeah, it seems that um, many of the parents came, you know, full of apprehension, anxiety, concern, could they even get their child on an airplane? Would it be worth the effort? And every one of them has been impressed that it was actually, with preparation, we put a lot into preparing them to make this happen. 
but um, that it was a worthwhile process for them, that the children have been uh, positively affected. Not every child has seen the kind of gains that we want, but well more than 50% of the patients and the families that we know have seen very substantial gains in their special needs children. Right. And then for the, for the parents, many of the parents have sought out the same sorts of therapies for themselves like we did, and they're seeing the same kind of positive changes in their own health, where they have the energy, the vitality, the, the, uh, the cognition. They just feel so much more alive. So, this has been an amazing journey for our family, for many families that we know, and it's a very exciting process at the same time. But if you, if you had to talk to a mom or a dad, and you do all the time, but if you had to talk to a mom or dad who said, yeah, I think that might be something good for my child, but there's no way I can do that. There's no way I can put my child on an airplane and bring them out of the country for this kind of special treatment. How would you handle that? How would you talk to them and what would you tell them? First of all, I want to go back and say something really quick. Um, we have many children that are going to receive stem cells that are older, and there are hope for older children. In their late teens and 20s, they're coming here, and they're getting great results. And so back to the question, how I tell moms that they should prepare is to, to we, we have a, a package that we give to parents and it, get, it briefs them about, about Ukraine and, and how, how MCEL operates and I, I think that the best thing to do is just not to think about it too much, just get ready and go. I think once you make the decision, once, once it's something that the families have decided to do, that, that they really, they're not getting the kind of effectiveness from the types of therapies that they have available to them, that they're not seeing the kind of results that they know that their child needs to live a lifelong, independent, able to take care of themselves. So they, once they do that, they just need to get over the fear of traveling and work with us or work with their local physician to make it something that they find the right sorts of ways to make that thing that happen for them. And um, I think that you've been a big part of that and thank you for helping the, the moms and dads through that process. You, you, do, you spend a lot of time, you just give of yourself to that and that's very nice of you. So um, would you say from talking to the moms that, that, that they're impressed with the changes that they see with their children almost within days very often? Everyone, everyone is, is absolutely blown away. Everyone is impressed and it's the hope that keeps them going. It's the reason that when they come back after two or three weeks they're ready to go again because they've already seen the, the change and they've seen more changes generally than they ever have and over they want a very more. Short period of time, over too. a short period of time and they want more. And once they got over the, the fear of traveling outside of the country and coming and doing this then they're ready to go again and and every mother has seen phenomenal changes in a short period of time and everyone is ready to come back. I know we talked to several of the families that are here right now with us and even the people who were here for the very first time, they're already talking about when they're going to be making their second trip yes. because um, they've been so excited about the, the treatment, the, the concept, the way they've been treated by the staff and the, and the physicians and the nurses, which are all wonderful. And the city. People have fallen in love with the city. They like the city. It is, it's actually a wonderful place I and mean, it's an enjoyable place to, to come and stay. So um, thank you for that and thank you for all the help that you've offered to the families. And I know you're going to be a, a big help for them in the future. Stem cells have changed my life. I am so happy. I can't even explain it, how good I feel. Every morning, every day, I feel great. I, I told someone it's like, it's like the highest high, and it's changed my life, it's changed my marriage, it's changed me as, as, as a mother. I'm a better mother, I'm a better, I, I can work more effectively. I'm just so happy, and it's fantastic. I would tell everyone to come to MCEL.